This is your High Desert Sports Report, the Victor Valley's only weekly action highlights sports program. Covering our area's schools, teams, athletes, and sporting events. 12 baseball players from High Desert Schools are all CIF. Three, Hesperia Christian's Cody New, Barstow's Gabriel Hernandez, Apple Valley's Bo Lloyd were player of the year in their respective league. Cody New is a three-time All-CIF selection. He won nine games without a loss his senior year, posting an 0.26 earned run average, while hitting 491 with four home runs and 25 runs driven in. Cody New plays next at Division I Cal Baptist in Riverside. Arlen Custer earns All-CIF honors, the versatile Patriot Junior, hit 381, his 25 RBIs tied with Cody New for team high run production. Arlen Custer will be counted on to lead Hesperia Christian's defense of the Cross Valley League crown in 2024, both at the plate and on the mound. Fellow Patriot Luke Skinner is all CIF. Luke Skinner hit 369 with a team high 12 stolen bases. Hesperia Christian advanced to the CIF Division VI championship game and was rewarded with three All-CIF selections. Same for Apple Valley. Sun Devil Bo Lloyd was Mojave River League Player of the Year, leading the league in runs driven in and home runs, while posting a lowest in the league 1.74 earned run average. Bo Lloyd, one of two High Desert sophomores, earning all CIF honors. Sun Devil Junior Ryan Martinez is all CIF at utility player. He led the Mojave River League in hitting with a 467 batting average, his 32 runs scored most on the team. Apple Valley's shortstop Ryan Martinez often served as the closer posing a 2.24 earned run average. Apple Valley senior Josiah Zamora is an all-CIF Division V pitcher. He established a 3.05 ERA while hitting 373 and leading the Sun Devils with a 584 on-base percentage, scoring 30 runs and stealing 30 bases. Josiah Zamora plays next at Division II Cal State San Bernardino. Paul Montoya, Oak Hills Jr., is all CIF. The All Mojave River League outfielder hit 453 with two home runs, this one helping the MRL beat the DSL in the Interleague All Star game. Paul Montoya went 5 and 3 on the year on the mound with a 2.85 ERA for the MRL champion Bulldogs. Jeffrey Rodriguez, Sultana's all Mojave River League second baseman, is all CIF Division IV. The Sultan Jr. hit 398 for the season. His 444 batting average led Sultana hitters in the postseason. Alex Gamez of Sultana is the other High Desert sophomore, earning all CIF honors. The all Mojave River League infielder hit a team high 404, and his 32 runs scored led Sultana. Barstow ace Gabriel Hernandez earns all CIF Division IV honors, his 0-46 earned run average, lowest among Desert Sky League pitchers. Gabriel Hernandez pitches next for Cal State Northridge. Ben Carlson of the Academy of Careers and Exploration is Division Seven all CIF. The Eagle shortstop hit 5-25 his junior year. Michael Wood of Cobalt Institute of Math and Science Academy is Division 7 All-CIF. The Cougars senior hit 581, ninth highest among Southern Section hitters. 
Nine softball players from High Desert Schools are named All-CIF Southern Section. The list is led by a familiar name when it comes to highest postseason honors. Holly Medina of Oak Hills is All-CIF a second straight year. The Lady Bulldogs senior hit 579 in 2023 and led the Mojave River League in base hits, extra base hits, on-base percentage, and stolen bases. A scholar-athlete of the highest accord, Holly Medina earned a scholarship to Cal Berkeley, next stop in her softball career. Division 5 All-CIF Barstow's Mariah Rodriguez, the 2023 Daily Press Female Athlete of the Year, a 542 hitter with four grand slams among her six home runs. Silverado's senior ace, Mikaela Ortiz, the Desert Sky League's Player of the Year. University Preps, Danny Jackman, whose 76 runs driven in, led the state and was 12th in the nation. She's all CIF Division 5. Danny Jackman, a catcher, also scored 76 runs, the most in the state, while hitting 649 with 15 home runs her sophomore season. Granite Hills' Rebecca Godwin is Division 6 All-CIF. She led the Lady Cougars to the quarterfinals of the playoffs. Academy of Careers and Explorations first baseman Araceli Manzo is All-CIF Division 6. She hit 728 her junior year, driving in 62 runs, fifth in the state. Juliana Santalane's ace Senior catcher was fourth in California with 60 runs scored. She hit 674 her senior year. In Division 7, Hesperia Christians, Gabrielle Stoops hit 442. Gabby Stoops, a junior, is listed as a catcher slash infielder slash outfielder. Lady Patriot infielder Eden Skinner is all CIF. She led her team with a 564 batting average. Hesperia Christian holds the distinction of having the area's only sister and brother named all CIF. Eden, a freshman in softball. Luke Skinner, a senior in baseball. Down Home Grill serves up and delivers and congratulates these softball and baseball players, earning first team all CIF honors. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Road. Bid fast and last, sold on supporting high desert sports. The Bradco companies supporting all of the teams and sports programs throughout the Mojave River Valley. Iwanzak Law Firm, trial lawyers for serious problems. Volu Quality Truck Body. Volu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. We got them tees. Your headquarters for custom screen printing and master craft embroidery design. Silverwood. The developers of the Silverwood Master Planned Community support the teams, athletes, and sports programs of all our High Desert and Mojave River Valley schools. And by the Holiday Inn in Victorville. The Holiday Inn, conference and convention center for the high desert. The Holiday Inn, supporting the teams, schools, and sports programs throughout the Victor Valley. Terry Kurtz here, inviting you to join us on Terry Kurtz Online, the half-hour report on high desert and Huffy River Valley events and activities, entertainment and history. It's the most informative and entertaining half-hour of high desert television today. These three players from high desert schools have been named first team all CIF. Serrano's Connor Abadi and Hesperia Christian's Arlen Custer and Cody New. Connor Abadi, the Mojave River League champion Diamondbacks ace, is all CIF Division 5. He established a lowest in the Mojave River League 0.20 earned run average, striking out 79 in 35 innings for the MRL champion Diamondbacks. Connor Abadi was named Daily Press All Area Player of the Year. He earned a full scholarship to pitch next at San Diego State. 
Two members of the Hesperia Christian Cross Valley League champions are all CIF Division VI. Leading hitter Arlen Custer and Southpaw Cody New. Cody New, a junior, registered a 1.98 earned run average while compiling a 7-1 record. He struck out 113 in his team-high 60 innings pitched. He is a repeat selection first team All-CIF. Cody New also hit 370 with a team-high 28 runs driven in. That team lead in RBIs actually shared with... Arlen Custer, the Patriots' sophomore, who led the team with a 402 batting average. His 35 hits and 10 doubles were tops on his team, and his 28 RBI tied for team lead with Cody New. Arlen Custer caught, played infield, and pitched for the Cross Valley League champion. We flash back to all CIF selection seasons past. Three members of the CIF Division IV baseball champions, Serrano Diamondbacks, are first team all CIF, led by Player of the Year, R.J. Peace. The Diamondbacks pitching ace led Serrano to the Division IV title, most impressively on the mound, but also at the plate. The 6-2 senior right-hander pitched 22 and a third innings in the postseason without allowing an earned run. He pitched seven innings with six strikeouts and one walk as Serrano beat South Torrance 2-1 to one in the championship game. Peace finished the season with a .24 earned run average. He also went 6-for-13 at the plate in the playoffs. Peace was drafted by the Miami Marlins. Five days after pitching his team to the CIF title, he was a 13th round selection and has already signed his professional contract. Fellow Diamondbacks pitcher Saxon Andros is first team all CIF, a nine game winner for the Diamondbacks. Andros, a junior, posted a 151 earned run average. Andros struck out 91 in 69 plus innings, holding opposing hitters to a 204 batting average. And one might say the Diamondbacks were battery-powered the past season. R.J. Peace and Saxon Andros, battery mate. Catcher Alex Spadafora is also first team All-CIF. Spadafora threw out 9 of 11 attempted base stealers and committed to one error all season. Spadafora, a senior, hit 384 and led the Diamondbacks with 21 runs driven in. Granite Hills pitcher Miles Sandum is first team All-CIF. A 6'3", 220-pound junior, Sandum won nine games and established a 131 earned run average, striking out 101 batters in 75 innings. Sandum led the Cougars with 27 runs driven in. He hit 419. Cougars teammate Michael Odgers is first team All-CIF. Odgers, the Cougars' leadoff hitter and shortstop, hit 441 and led Granite Hills in runs scored with 34 and stolen bases, 10 swipes and 11 attempts for the junior team captain. Also from the Mojave River League, Burroughs undefeated pitcher James Pooley, first team All-CIF Division IV. Division 7 CIF champions Excelsior with catcher Caleb Murphy named CIF Division 7 Player of the Year. Murphy's 645 batting average was fourth highest in the state. Despite incredible power numbers, Murphy hit 10 home runs. The 6'1", 215-pound senior was Coach Baron Wilson's leadoff hitter. The team's fastest runner, Murphy, stole a CIF high 43 bases in 44 attempts. As for his power, four of Murphy's 10 home runs came in one game, Excelsior's CIF quarterfinals victory over Trinity Classical Academy. Arguably, Murphy's greater value to the CIF champion Eagles, his leadership. 
Caleb, what do you tell your teammates here as you get ready for the biggest game of the season up to this point? Um, to play as a family and to uh, make sure that we bring God out on the field because he's the most important thing. Another reason Coach Baron Wilson could lead off with Murphy was the hitters behind him at the top of the Eagles batting order. Cameron Wilson, the sophomore second baseman, is also first team all CIF. Cam Wilson hit 600 and led the team with 28 runs driven in. Cameron Wilson provided one of the all-time greatest video highlights when he ripped this walk-off grand slam, propelling the Eagles to the CIF finals. Excelsior's third first team All-CIF player, junior pitcher, Brett Hoffman. Hoffman was a nine-game winner with an 0.99 earned run average and the winning pitcher in the CIF title game. Hoffman, also productive at the plate, hitting 431 on the year. Hoffman was the Cross Valley League most valuable player. Here's a point to ponder. Caleb Murphy, the CIF Division 7 Player of the Year, was not voted onto the Cross Valley League All-League team. Coach Baron Wilson took the high road in response, shrugging only politics. AAE pitcher Trevor Dallahusse, an Hesperia Christian pitcher and leading hitter and Agape League most valuable player, Zach Schilling, our first team all CIF Division 7 selections. Jackrabbits center fielder Mikey Prieto and Bulldogs catcher Kean Costigan are first team all CIF Division 4 heading up high desert standouts named all CIF. Mikey Prieto, a junior, led the Jackrabbits to second place in the DSL and deep into the playoffs. Mikey Prieto offers a key to his success and the best advice he ever received. As if confidence is the key. If you believe in yourself, you will succeed. So that's what I, that's what I go by. The best, the best advice I received was from my father. Okay, and he told me to be the same person when I'm falling and the same person when I'm rising. And I could break that up to two things, uh, including baseball, being the same person on the field when you're 0 for 4 and 4 for 4, uh, having the same confidence and um, attitude every day on the field. Kian Costigan helped lead Oak Hills to their third consecutive Mojave River League title and into the CIF quarterfinals. The senior catcher hit 471 with 30 RBIs and was an impact player behind the plate as well as at the plate. Also named 2018 All-CIF Baseball Selections, Desert Sky League Player of the Year, Jonathan Carlos, and six-game winner, Antonio Almos, of the DSL champion, Silverado Hawks, All-CIF Division VI. Apple Valley Christian catcher Aiden Delgado is a Division VI All-CIF repeat selection. ACE's Chase Mitchell and University Prep's Rudy Mejia also repeat selections CIF Division 7. Atlanta Ace Lee Atkinson, Saints shortstop Robert Valdivia, and Oak Hills Bulldog Matt Kelly are first team all CIF selections from MRL and DSL schools. The Saints tandem led Atlanta to the DSL co-championship. Matt Kelly pitched the Bulldogs to the MRL co-championship. The 6'3", 210-pound Lee Atkinson led the Desert Sky League in strikeouts, 113, and hit 380 for the DSL co-champs. Fellow first team All-CIF selection Robert Valdivia led the Desert Sky League in hitting. The 5'9", 130-pound Robert Valdivia hit 425 his senior season. Oak Hills senior Matt Kelly, his first team All-CIF Division Three. These highlights from Matt Kelly's CIF win over Victor Valley. Matt Kelly strikes out eight in firing the complete game win, overcoming a very tight strike zone in the early going. All CIF honors hauled in by High Desert Standouts. 
Sultana's pitcher Finn Wall and leading run producer Jimmy Hernandez, all CIF. Barstow's James Henderson, Aztec's pitcher and leading hitter, all CIF Division VI. The CIF Division VII finalists, Hesperia Christian Patriots, have three all CIF selections, pitchers Kyle Day and Cody New, and leading hitter Aiden Ortega. Noteworthy about the Hesperia Christian all CIF selections, all are underclassmen. The previously listed six all CIF selections from high desert schools, all seniors. Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill in Victorville on the corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Road. Bid fast and well sold on supporting High Desert Sports. The Branco companies supporting all of the teams and sports programs throughout the Mojave River Valley. Iwanzak Law Firm. Trial lawyers for serious problems. Volu Quality Truck Body. Volu manufactures state-of-the-art truck bodies for the construction industry nationwide. We got them tees. Your headquarters for custom screen printing and master craft embroidery design. Silverwood. The developers of the Silverwood Master Planned Community support the teams, athletes, and sports programs of all our High Desert and Mojave River Valley schools. And by the Holiday Inn in Victorville. The Holiday Inn, conference and convention center for the high desert. The Holiday Inn, supporting the teams, schools, and sports programs throughout the Victor Valley. Terry Kurtz here, inviting you to join us on Terry Kurtz Online, the half-hour report on high desert and Mojave River Valley events and activities, entertainment, and history. It shows three times daily at 7.30 and 11.30 mornings and 4.30 in the afternoon, right here on Victor Valley TV, immediately following your high desert sports report. It's the most informative and entertaining half-hour of high desert television today. We flash back to Excelsior's shocker around the sports world, Cam Wilson's Grand Slam that walks the Eagles off and into the 2015 CIF Championship game. Then Victor Valley Jackrabbit, Reggie Lawson, and Granite Hills Cougar Miles Standham being drafted in 2016 followed by two Atalanto Saints and one Oak Hills Bulldog earning all CIF honors in 2019. The Excelsior Eagles defy the odds, fly into the CIF Finals. Cameron Wilson's walk-off Grand Slam sinks Avalon and sends Excelsior to the title game for the first time in program history. Think it's through the out that Cam. I had a 3-2 count, I saw my opportunity and I took it. I gave everything that I had, all the hard work, all the swings that I've taken all season. I couldn't let these guys down. CIF semifinals, Excelsior winning the toss to be home team, avoiding the across the channel ferry boat trip to Catalina Island to play the Lancers. Caleb, what do you tell your teammates here as you get ready for the biggest game of the season up to this point? Um, to play as a family and to uh, make sure that we bring God out on the field because he's the most important thing. On the mound, Excelsior ace Brett Hoffman, 6'2", 196-pound junior, 9-0, and 0, an 0 0.99 earned run average. Avalon breaks the ice on an 85-degree windblown Tuesday, June 2nd afternoon, scoring without the benefit of a base hit. Daniel Jimenez, who was hit by a pitch, scores on the errant throw after a bunt was laid down. Max Rowland ties the score with a solo home run in the bottom of the second. The 6'3", 190-pound junior enters the game with a 381 average. This is his fourth home run of the season. The Eagles will manage to run themselves out of a scoring opportunity in the bottom of the third. Caleb Murphy leads off with a double. Murphy, the 6'1", 215-pound catcher, enters the game with a 6'45 batting average, sixth highest in the state. But a cardinal rule broken on what Caleb Murphy can only describe as a delayed steal attempt. The bunt can't reach the high and tight pitch. The first out of the inning, a base runner tagged out at third. 
top four. Avalon pitcher Danny Jimenez lifts it high, up, deep, out, and over. Center fielder Griego Jacobs' leaping attempt. The visiting Lancers regain the lead 2-1. Freshman Valencia Logan leads off the bottom of the fifth, driving the base hit through the middle. Eagles manager Baron Wilson uses his bench. The pinch runner, Nikolai Rodriguez, goes to first. Senior Jordan Griffith does his job, driving it deep, and the misplayed ball enables Rodriguez to ramble into third. Two runners in scoring position, nobody out. Two strikeouts later, following an intentional walk to Caleb Murphy to load the bases, the Eagles base runner on third breaks for home and is called out. Inexplicable, the reason for the break for home. Explicit break for the Lancers. Their 2-1 to one lead holds in the sixth. Avalon adds to their lead on Chris Martinez' solo home run. Top of the seventh, Avalon goes up 4-1 to one on the bases loaded walk. The hit batsman makes it 5-1, and the Lancers add one more on a base hit before an out at the plate ends the inning. Going into the bottom of the seventh, it is 6-1, and the bottom of the Eagles' batting order will have to come through if Excelsior is to rally. Come through, they do. Valencia Logan and Jordan Griffith draw walks. Anthony Urell defies take to a strike, coming through with his biggest hit of the season, sending Valencia Logan across. It is 6-2. There is one out. Sophomore Harmon John draws a walk to load the bases, bringing up Caleb Murphy, representing the tying run. After fouling off two full count pitches, Caleb Murphy is hit by the pitch, forcing across Jordan Griffith. The bases remain loaded, one out, 6-3 the score, and the coach's son comes to the plate. Mild dose of ignoring advice will ensue. Cameron Wilson is supposed to take the three and one pitch, but goes after it instead. Full count. Avalon is one strike away from the finals. Cameron Wilson is one pitch away from superstardom. The 6-1 sophomore lays into the fastball. It is high, deep, up, out, and way over the center field fence. And the Excelsior Eagles are on their way to the CIF finals. Rallying from five runs down, down to their last two outs, the Eagles stun the Lancers, and simply put, for a high school baseball player, it does not get any better than this. Take us through the out that Cam, way to go. All right, it's a great group of guys right here. I love them all, I couldn't let them down. I had a three-two count, I saw my opportunity and I took it. I gave everything that I had. All the hard work, all the swings that I've taken all season, I couldn't let these guys down. They're my brothers, I love them. Let it go. Thank you, sir. The Excelsior Eagles play for the CIF Division 7 Championship Saturday in Riverside against Santa Clarita Christian. Victor Valley graduate Reggie Lawson was selected 71st overall by the San Diego Padres in the lottery round B portion of the Major League Baseball draft. Lawson was selected on the first day of the draft, which included the first 77 selections. He is the highest pick from the high desert since Aaron Sanchez of Barstow was selected number 34 overall in 2010. The Padres' front office said they were familiar with Lawson after he pitched for the West team at their home stadium, Petco Park, in the Perfect Game All-American Classic in August of 2015. The Padres also kept tabs on Lawson as he helped Team USA 18U to gold medal in Japan. Granite Hills Southpaw and Desert Sky League Player of the Year Miles Sandum was drafted by the New York Yankees on the third day of the draft. The 6'4", 205-pound Sandum was selected in the 31st round.
Your High Desert Sports Report is brought to you by Down Home Grill. A corner of Bear Valley Road and Ridgecrest Road in Victorville. Sell, 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 sell. Bid fast and last. World class auctioneers. Valu, quality truck bodies. Joseph W. Brady's Bradco Companies. Iwanzak Law Firm. Trial lawyers for serious problems. Silverwood, the developers of the Silverwood Master Plan Community. We got them teas. Your headquarters for custom screen print and Mastercraft Embroidery Design. And by the Holiday Inn in Victorville Conference and Convention Center for the Victor Valley. The Holiday Inn supports our area's teams, schools, athletes, and sports programs. This is your High Desert Sports Report. The Victor Valley's only weekly action highlights sports program covering our area's schools, teams, athletes, and sporting events. 